prove the following trig identity using the sum to product form. How we're going to do that here is that we're going to start with the numerator, then work with the denominator. So starting off, the numerator is based off of the terms in the fourth equation there. So we can rewrite this as negative 2 sine theta plus 3 theta divided by 2 times sine of theta minus 3 theta divided by 2. And then for the denominator, we're going to go ahead and come down here and we're going to get sine alpha. So we're going to use with uh, the first equation there. We're going to get 2 sine alpha plus beta times cosine of So which we're going to have here on the numerator 2 sine 4 theta divided by 2 sine of negative 2 theta divided by 2 the denominator we're going to get 2 sine 4 theta divided by 2 times cosine negative 2 theta divided by 2 and what we have here is uh, you can see two like terms here we can cancel these out and then what happens here is We've got a negative sign, and you can pull another negative out of the sine here, because it's an odd function, sine theta. For the cosine, it's an even function, so you cannot pull that. Uh, the, the inside negative is just the same thing as the cosine. So we have that. These cancel out, and you end up with the tangent theta. There it is. That's how you prove that.